Hi, I'm Adil Kumar. Here is a review test question for you on rational functions. The question is, state an equation of a rational function that satisfies the given conditions. So we have two examples for you to practice. The first one is vertical asymptote at x equals to 4, horizontal asymptote at y equals to minus 2, x intercept is 3 over 2. The second one is hold at x equals to minus 4 over 3, vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 6 and 1. So there are two vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now let's see how to write these equations very easily. So let's begin by writing function as, as y equals to something. Okay vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. So something will go in the denominator and vertical asymptote x equals to 4 will definitely be in the denominator. So denominator will be 0 at 4 if I write x minus 4, right? So that becomes a factor in the denominator. It will ensure a vertical asymptote at x equals to 4. Horizontal asymptote at y equals to minus 2. Now, if minus 2 is the y-intercept, y-horizontal uh, asymptote. And that means the degree of numerator and denominator has to be same and coefficient of x will be minus 2 times in the numerator. So we'll write minus 2x, right? And, uh, and something here, which is like, we don't know, but that is given by the x-intercept. So I'll do it in two stages. Let's say plus a. We don't know what a is. Now, from here, we know that we have taken care of horizontal asymptote and the vertical asymptote. But now we are left with x intercept is 3 over 2, right? So one way is, of course, I could have written here 3. But I'll show you how to write this value. Since x intercept is 3 over 2, that means if I write x equals to 3 over 2, I should get a 0, right? So, so we get minus 2 times 3 over 2 is the x intercept. Replace this x value by... 3 over 2 and we have plus a that should become 0 right so a is equals to 2 and 2 cancel bringing 3 to this side or I should say 2 times 3 over 2 which is 2 and 2 cancel so we get a as 3 so our equation is y equals to minus 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 4 right so you can get your rational function straight away. Some of you could have directly written A also, but this helps because it gives you understanding of how we get the value of A. Okay, let's get do the next one. It says whole at x equals to minus 4 over 3. So that means we have a factor which is both in numerator and denominator, right? So instead of writing x plus 4 over 3. Do you see that? x plus 4. That will give you whole, I mean a factor, both in numerator and denominator. We could write this as 3x plus 4. Is that okay? So I'll write here 3x plus 4 and this factor will be both in numerator and denominator since it is a whole. So we should have a common factor which cancels out. Vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 6 and 1. So it is at minus 6 means x plus 6 is a factor. 1 means x minus 1 is the factor. Horizontal asymptote at y equals to 0. That means these degrees should be same. Now this one is a cubic function. The denominator, to make it cubic, I have to multiply this by square term. So that gives me the equation which will satisfy the given condition. I hope... That is absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.